All right, gang, we're going to go live and I'm going to walk through a couple of questions we've been getting. We've been getting a handful of the same questions. And uh, like I warned you, this is very much a beta version. That's why we're not asking for your wallets yet. And I want to walk you through some of the common questions that are coming up and try and troubleshoot those. Let me go through a couple things I want to talk about first, and then uh, we'll stop the recording and we can answer some regular questions that come up as well. So I've seen many of you out there out and about about half of the people we've sent the links to have actually downloaded the app already and are starting to play with it and posting some of the uh, information up as well. So that's awesome. So thanks for getting out there. Hopefully you're off finding some great books and leave some uh, quality books for our Android friends as well. Again, we're just doing iOS for today. Obviously a couple of bugs that we've uncovered and we're gonna get into it tomorrow. So without further ado, let's jump in. And like I said, there will be some Q&A at the end as well, just like we did last time. So let me pull up the phone. Actually, looks like you can see it already. So when you get your email from Test Flight, you can go ahead and go into Test Flight. Um, you'll get a code that's in step three in the email, and you can go ahead and grab that and download it. Let me just switch over to just my phone. You guys don't need to see my ugly mug. Okay, so here is what your phone is going to look like. And uh, if you guys use uh, MileIQ, Microsoft Spend, so Microsoft bought MileIQ, that's what I use to track my mileage for uh, tax purposes. They're coming out with a Spend app as well, so I actually have uh, kind of beta access to that. Uh, I'm not loving it, MileIQ is great, Microsoft Spend still needs some work. But anyway, any you'll see Scout IQ. I'm gonna reinstall it and walk you through everything from scratch, and uh, we'll see how my phone does at the same time that we are trying to live broadcast. So we'll, we'll uh, test it, run it through its paces. So one of the first problems that pops up, and again, this is uh, shame on us. Uh, like I said, if you're not embarrassed by your first version of your app, it's a Reed Hoffman quote, you've probably launched too late. And uh, this one was just a simple oversight on our part. So if you click username and try and go through anything, hit return, work your way through, nothing shows up, you're kind of stuck with this keyboard. And unfortunately, you can't get anywhere else. So simple work around there. It's not a very nice way to uh, meet the app for the first time, so our apologies. Simple work around, close the app. You can go ahead and reopen the app. And when you do, actually just come over here. I don't know if my mouse will show up, I guess not. Just come over here and actually just click the login button. So don't touch username or password, simply click login and you're in. Okay, couple of settings. First off, when you go into settings, you're gonna to have to put your MWS information in, otherwise it won't let you do database live or just database. So you can get that, again, there's a, there's a link right here. If you just click the question mark, you can actually go through and learn how to enter your MWS keys or go back to the app. I'm, I'm gonna leave those out for now. We can add them in in a second if we'd like. If you're gonna use database mode, so if you go in and just try and start scanning books, so let's hit the scan button, use your phone's camera, and pull up a book. If you do that, it's just gonna keep spinning. We'll have to add some sort of a notification that says, hey, sorry, you're, you don't have the database downloaded. So if this just keeps going, it should return a result in database mode really quickly within about 0.2 seconds. So go ahead and go to download database. You're gonna click download database and then a couple issues here. One, don't let your, your phone go to sleep during this process. And again, I'm trying to do this while doing a Facebook Live, so this may be just a hair slow. We'll go ahead and put my face back up on the screen. So while that's continuing, a couple things here. Do not let your phone go to sleep. We'll, uh, we'll add a setting so it can actually, well, I'm assuming I'll have to talk to the developer, but I'm pretty sure it's possible. We'll add a setting to keep your phone awake so it doesn't try and sleep on you. If you go out of the app right now and try and answer texts or play with another app or play games or Angry Birds or Fall Down or something while you're waiting, it's it may pick up where it left off and it may not. So don't do that. If you do need to cancel for whatever reason, go ahead and do that. We're gonna wait till it gets to 100. I wish I had some good jokes to tell you right now, and maybe I would. Once it gets to 100%, uh, percent, then we're actually gonna go and uh, we should be good to go. So most of the issues are coming here. When you click test database, unfortunately, it tells you that it works. Uh, I will actually have to send it through and, and look up a lot, a real book in the database, and we'll, we'll get on that. Again, very much a beta. Uh, we spent a lot of our time and effort making sure the triggers work, the profit calculators are accurate, and that we have as much data in there. And of course, eScore has been kind of been worked on in the background for the last six months. Unfortunately, a few of the, uh, the interactions with you are not quite where we'd like them. So we'll keep, we'll keep improving, don't worry about it. Uh, and in the meantime, keep giving feedback, but I wanted to make this video to help answer some of the questions. If you do have some questions, go ahead and pop them in the Facebook group here as well. 
and uh, we'll go from there. And we're at about 60%. So again, don't let your phone go to sleep. Let it keep working. If you guys want to text me during the live chat, feel free. It'll show up on the uh, on the screen, which is pretty cool. Uh, 65. Again, this will take about four or five minutes if you're not slogging up your bandwidth with other things. We've got a couple of ideas in the background too, actually. So if you don't have space to download the database right now, it takes about 1.3 gigabytes. If you don't have enough space, I've got an idea in the back of my mind. I'll run it by our developer. We may be able to let you look up our database if you have cell phone access. It won't take much cell phone access, but we'll actually let you do that uh, without downloading the database. So hold, hold tight for that one. Um, so again, we have three modes. Database, obviously you have to download the database to get that to work. Uh, mode number two is data plus live. It's gonna look in the database first and if it can't find it, it'll return it live. And then mode three is live only. And in order to get uh, mode two or three, anything involving live, you have to have your MWS credentials copy pasted into the app. And again, I'd recommend getting those from Amazon, send them to your uh, email, copy, copy paste them into there, and then you can simply copy paste into the app fairly straightforward. So, and again, one more bug here. It's gonna show 100%, it's not quite done. Don't go back, don't cancel it. Wait until the bar actually disappears. Sometimes that'll take another 10 or 15 seconds. We'll work on improving this, uh, the way this looks. Again, it's not done yet, even though it says 100. Now it disappeared, now it's good. Again, you can click test database, I think you're gonna get this response no matter what, if any of the database has downloaded, even if it is corrupted. So now we can go test it. We're gonna to go to Scout. We're still in database mode. It's still looking for that book. We're gonna go ahead and scan a book again. And if the database is installed, it'll pop up. And if not, then it won't. Let's try a couple other books here. Somebody just gotta get it to reset. And it looks like it may not have. So we may have an issue with the uh, database in the background. Let me try one more thing. Yep, we're set to database only. I'm gonna quit the app and restart it once here. All right, there we go. So if your app does that, again, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. We'll have to look at it. If you've downloaded downloaded the database, sorry, and it's not working, go ahead and re-download it. This is actually a great real life example. Redownload it, and then you should be able to start scanning books and it's there almost instantaneously. All right, so let's walk through a couple of other things. That's database mode. Let's look at live mode. So again, if we switch this over to live, and there's nothing there, it, you have to have your credentials in here to get this to work. Let me grab my credentials. So you got two things, you have your user ID or your seller ID, we're gonna paste that in. And then we have a, what's called an auth token or an authorization token. And we are gonna grab that, Oop, all of it. I, don't do that. All right, hang on. It's like trying to parallel park when everybody's watching. Don't do it. All right, so you're going to paste your seller ID, your auth token, click out of it like that, and now you're off and running. Now we can do live mode. So we'll go back to some of the same books here. We're going to go into the scout screen, hold it up, and go scan it. All right, so now live mode, again, probably about half the time right now, we're gonna work on improving it. You'll get a, um, let me switch it back to just phone only. About half the time, you're going to get a thumbnail in the bottom left corner, so you're good there. You can see the orange slot here for Amazon. You can see Amazon is actually the price that we've selected. And if you go and look at the calculator, actually, it's not gonna show 1680. It's gonna show 1680 minus the percentage for Amazon. So this is an e-score of 122. If we go into triggers, e-score of 122 would be trigger number two. Right now we're set to have a 10% discount from Amazon. If you don't like that, you can set it to zero or 20 or 30 or whatever else you want, and then you're off and running. So those are the three modes. Let me show you a couple things with a barcode scanner. So let me connect my scanner and we'll walk you through one or two other uh, points here. So switch it back to my camera. I've got an Opticon 2002. It's got two triggers. The big one is for the scanner to work and the small one is for the keyboard to pop up and down. And our keyboard is not perfect right now, but it is functional. Let me show you how this works. 
So you're gonna go back to settings, turn your uh, Bluetooth scanner on. We're gonna go into Bluetooth, so it's, it's on, it's flashing, trying to connect. We're gonna connect it to the scanner. Now we're off and running, you hear, heard the, burp, the uh, beep. Go back to the app. Now there's a, a good setting in here. I'm gonna leave it off for now, but it's called external scanner. It's right at the top. So if we go in and start scanning, one, I can turn the uh, keyboard on and off by clicking the small button, okay? So I can go ahead and scan a book and it's gonna pull the results. Again, we're in live mode, so it's gonna take a second or two to load. Let's go ahead and put that back into, uh, we'll put it back into database mode, so we'll try and get it as fast as possible. Okay, so we're in data. We're gonna come back in again. If you click in the barcode area and there's a barcode to scan, you can go ahead and simply scan a barcode. And again, it's gonna pull it up about as fast as you can scan. But it's not gonna reset unless you click back in the barcode area every time. Okay, so if you do have a barcode scanner, you wanna take advantage of this setting called external scanner. We're gonna turn that on. Now what it does, let me show you a couple things. One, every book we scan, it's automatically gonna put the cursor right back in the text bar so we can simply just keep scanning. And I didn't even ask the developer, or I did at some point, but he, uh, he actually snuck it in there again. So he's been pretty good about that. If you click on any of the other prices here to update the calculator and see how much you'd make, for example, if you sold it at the lowest merchant fulfilled price, and then you go ahead and start scanning again, it's actually smart enough and puts the cursor back in the barcode area. So awesome feature if you are using a scanner, again, make sure you turn your, your uh, keyboard off. If you don't, it's gonna be extremely frustrating. So every time you click on a price here, it's gonna put the um, trigger back in to the text box. So that's gonna be fairly annoying. So you need to hit that small button to turn it off. And then you can simply keep working your way around and scan as many books as you'd like. And it's just gonna keep bringing up the data, which is awesome, okay? Now, if you do get to a book that doesn't have a barcode and you need to type an ISBN in, go ahead and click the small button. It'll bring up the keyboard. And again, we're gonna redo the keyboard. We just didn't wanna spend the, uh, the time on it right now. We had other things to get out the door. So we do have these little small, I think someone called them chiclets. So you can type in ISBNs here. But again, if you're using your scanner, let's say you search for it, it's obviously not gonna found it, and you click off, the scanner is by default, the trigger is gonna go back into the barcode area and your keyboard's up. So if you have to type one in, hit the small button, bring the keyboard up, hit the small button again to bring it back down and you can get off on, on back on your way and keep scouting for some books, just like this. So that is database mode, that is live. So again, a couple issues with the database mode, let it get to 100% and then uh, get you know drop off and then you'll be all set. And if it still wasn't working, it was a good test example, I didn't realize that was gonna happen for me, close the app and then completely shut it down and then open it back up. You don't need to uninstall it, but simply open it back up and you should be off and running. Again, you've got a scan tracker here. We've had a couple people out there. I think the number to beat right now is Gabriel. He had uh, just over a thousand books in 90 minutes at a Goodwill. Uh, so that's phenomenal. His accept rate was fairly low. It was about 4%, but I think he was excited about scanning books. So do that. Again, a reminder, you wanna set your settings either to database or data plus live right now. We haven't optimized the call, so if you go out there and try and scan a thousand books in 90 minutes in live mode, you're gonna rate limit out and the app won't work in live mode until it resets in about an hour. We're gonna fix it, don't worry. Again, this is, we're trying to get a minimum viable product out the door, and that is it. So those are the two main bugs, both on the setup screen, just click the login button, and then when you're actually downloading data, make sure it gets all the way to the end of the process and initializes in your phone's memory, and you should be off and running. All right, I'm gonna stay on the live. We're gonna do some, uh, some q and I'm gonna stop the recording so we can get that up on YouTube and help people out. Thanks for your patience. It's been a whirlwind day one. Again, about half the people with iOS have actually downloaded the app so far, so that's phenomenal. We're gonna do our best to try and get out there and get Android up and running. Uh, I'm gonna call it tomorrow. If everything goes according to plan, maybe tonight we'll probably be troubleshooting some of these bugs we've uncovered. And Android, you guys are on deck hopefully tomorrow. We'll do our best to get it out to you. Again, our developer is enjoying some time with his family today. They haven't seen much of him and uh, family comes first. So I'm excited for him. He needs a little bit of a break. We've been uh, riding him hard and working him hard and he deserves a break. So hopefully you're able to download this and get out there. Again, I'm gonna stop the recording. Thanks for watching and we'll do a Q&A right after this.